<clears throat> Hi everyone, this is Sam Cray at the Heart, and I'm trying something a little bit different with my camera. I turned off the autofocus, so I'm hoping that will help with the whole focusing in and out that it, my camera seems to do. So we'll see how it works. Um, anyway, I'm back with another portion of my back to school uh, kind of themed project for the month of September. And I was inspired by a post on the Crate Paper blog. Now, I don't really follow Crate Paper's blog, but I do follow them on Instagram. And they posted these little um, notebooks. Now, this is the third in my series also in the little mini notebooks for the month of September, or notebooks in general. So I really love making these. I make a lot of inserts for for Traveler's Notebooks, I generally just use my long range stapler and that seems to be sufficient for me. But I was inspired to stitch in my books, which I don't always do, but I do have my um, sewing machine out. So I did stitch all of these, but if you don't have a sewing machine, you can use a stapler, you can even glue your pages. I mean, you have other options that you can do you could do a lots of other things with it. You could just punch holes and put rings. I mean, you could do other things, but I often do something a little bit different. So for these notebooks, they are five by seven. And this one, I'm using the Real Genius paper from Photoplay paper. And all I did was cut my inside pages at five by seven. This is just regular copy paper. And then this paper, the, uh, what do you call it? The pattern to paper, I just cut it just a tiny bit bigger, maybe an eighth of an inch or so bigger so that I don't have any paper hanging out. Um, and that seemed to do the trick for me. And then I just put all my pages together and I sewed it. If I was feeling, you know, less fancy, I would have just gone ahead and stapled the pages but I opted to be fancy. <clears throat> I just used a card from the collection, a cut apart and a couple of stickers, and then just mounted that on some black cardstock and put that right on there. And then I used some Reflections School Washi. And I did put down some, um, some score tape so that my washi will actually stay because I want my washi to be permanent. So I did do go ahead and do that, and I think it came out really cute. So then I went ahead and decided to go through my stash and do some notebooks that were non-school, you know, themed per se, but they're still notebooks, so they follow the theme anyway. And I'm using some of the carousel papers and goodies that I hauled. So I went ahead and I cut down to two different pages of paper from the carousel 12 by 12 paper stack. They're exactly the same size as my school one. And then I just use, this is a cut apart. These are both frames are both cut aparts from the collection. And then I used chipboard. This chipboard is from the carousel and then a sticker. And then this one, it just said American crafts chipboard, but it, went really well with this collection with the colors and everything. I don't know that it was necessarily carousel. And so I just made these cute Maggie Holmes and these are all stitched notebooks. And then I made this school themed one as well. So I really love these notebooks and I think they're really easy to make and they're a good, good way to use up bits and pieces of projects you have, like you made a mini album and now you have like, you know, a couple sheets of stuff left. What do you, what do you do with it? And so this is a good way to use that up. So thank you for watching. This is Cindy Crane at the Heart.